Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to attach an image into an AutoCAD file. We're going to scale that image up to one to one as close as we can. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so I'm in an architectural uh, template file and what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to make a layer to put the image on. So I'm going to come up to my layer manager and we're going to make a new layer and um, I'm going to start it with the word image and I'm going to call it small house. Okay, um, I'm going to make the color of the image blue, and this will you'll notice this color will only be on the edges of the image, not the entire image. And I'm going to make that layer current. Okay, so now that we have that layer current, let's attach our image. All right, so I'm going to type in I am on the command line, and that is going to bring up this dialog box for images, X references, or also attaching PDFs. So I'm going to come up to this pull down here and I'm going to pick attach image. Okay. And this is going to allow us to browse. So what I'm going to do is you're going to browse to the folder that your image lives in. Okay. And um, here's my image right here. I'm just going to pick that and pick open. And you'll notice here that um, it's going to remember where this image is by its full path name. Okay. So you don't want to move the image from this path. Um, unless you plan to reattach it later on to a different path. All right, so it's going to attach it by its full path name. It's going to allow us to insert it on the screen, and we're also going to be able to specify the scales. So let's pick OK there. And I'm just going to pick a point to start the image. And I'm going to put in right now, it's asking for a scale factor. I'm just going to put in a scale of 10 just to get the image bigger than it normally would be. OK. All right, so I'm going to close this dialog box because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to zoom in on my house image here. Okay. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually measure the one of the outside walls here to see how close it is to this dimension of 26 feet. Because what I would really like to do to get the image to be one to one is make the 26 foot dimension actually be as close as it can be to 26 feet in AutoCAD. All right, so let's see what it is right now. So I'm going to come up to the distance command. And this is an image, so I'm going to have to, by eye, just pick two points on the wall. Okay. And I'm going to look down at my command line. And it looks like here that my image uh, length of that line is about a little over six feet, six feet one inch and seven sixteenths inches. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to scale this image as close as we can to one to one. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line um, on that wall that I know I have a known dimension of 26 feet. So I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to put ortho on to make it straight. So I'm going to start my line right here. and I'm going to bring it down to this other point right about here. Okay. So now if we can make this line and uh, this whole entire image scaled up to 26 feet, uh, then the image will be really close to one to one. Okay. So let's go to the scale command which is up here on the modify uh, panel. So I'm going to pick scale and I'm going to pick the outer edge of the image and I'm also going to pick the line. Okay, I'm going to do an enter there. And um, it's asking me for a base point. So I'm going to put my O snaps on. I'm going to pick the end point of this line right here. That's going to be my base point. Okay. The next thing the command line asks us for is the scale factor. Now I don't know the scale factor off the top of my head to make that line 26 feet, but we can make the computer do that work for us. So in order to do that, I'm going to reference the length of the line. So at this point in the command line here, notice I have two options, copy or reference. I'm going to do R, enter to, to pick reference. And now it's asking me for the reference length. So now I'm just going to pick the end point of that line again, and I'm going to pick the other end point of the line. Okay, And that tells the computer the distance of that line. Now the command line asks me to specify 
the new length of the line. So I'm going to type in 26 feet, enter. And you'll see that the image now has gotten quite larger. Okay, so now let's do the distance command again on that line and see what it measures. And indeed it does measure 26 feet. Okay, so now if this drawing was drawn properly, all of the other dimensions should measure really close to one to one. Okay.